Our tea service here at the Drake is steeped in history. We've served politicians, royalty, celebrities, and our regular guests that come back year after year. Picking out the perfect tea for tea service is very subjective. It's very similar to picking out a bottle of wine, something more rich, something more light, something fruity. It really depends on what you like. I'm Leah Tarowski, and I'm the executive sous chef at The Drake. And this is Off the Menu with Hilton. The first sandwich we're gonna build is bourbon smoked salmon with an apple agridolce. First thing you wanna do is dice your onions. Nice and small, about a cup right into your pan. Next, you wanna dice your red pepper. You take out the white parts because they can tend to be a little bitter. I'm gonna use about a whole red pepper. Turn on your pot to a medium, medium high heat. Add your vinegar, and about a third of a cup of sugar. Add about a tablespoon or so of grain mustard. A little pinch of salt, pinch of ground pepper. And if you'd like, a little pinch of chili flakes to add some heat. Stir all this together, reduce this down for about 10 minutes. While that's cooking, grab your apples. I'm gonna peel your apples. After that, you wanna go ahead and dice your apples, quarter inch. What you're looking for is to have a, a little bit of a reduction in the vinegar and sugar to the point that it becomes a little bit sticky in appearance. Next, you wanna take a little bit of your cooking oil, pour it into your pan, and get your pan nice and hot. Put your apples into your oil. Then add a little pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper. We're gonna pick some fresh thyme now. We're gonna chop about a teaspoon and add that to the apple mixture. Once your apples start to get a little translucent, you're gonna pour the cider vinegar and onion pepper compote on top of the apples. And at this point, you're gonna keep cooking this until the moisture evaporates. The apples are gonna absorb the sweet and sour flavor. Add the zest of about half a lemon. When your apple agridolce is ready, it'll look like this. We're gonna take our bread. We're gonna spread the cream cheese onto the wheat bread and feel free to use white bread or rye. Next, we're gonna place some salmon on top of the bread. I like to use bourbon smoked salmon, but you can absolutely use what your local grocer has. We're gonna cut off the end. We're gonna cut these into beautiful little triangles. Next, we're gonna finish it with the apple agridolce. We're just gonna put a generous spoon on top. It's okay if it gets a little messy. Palm Court Restaurant is really beautiful, and from November through January, we'll hold over 30,000 reservations. When people come and join us for tea, I want them to feel happy about the food, I want them to feel happy about the ambiance, excited to see the fountain, hear the music, enjoy the service. Tea service is an institution at the Drake. The next sandwich we're gonna make is a cucumber and tomato jam tea sandwich. So you'll wanna use your Japanese mandolin to cut your cucumbers nice and thin. Slowly so you don't damage your fingertips. Just wanna make these beautiful little ribbons. Okay. Next, you wanna take your bread, you're gonna spread the cream cheese on one layer of the bread. Next, you wanna start to layer the cucumber across, about a quarter of an inch in between the slices. Once that's ready, set this aside, grab your spiced tomato jam. You wanna spread this on the other layer of the bread, and then place the cucumbers over top the jam. Cut the crust off the same as you did with the salmon. You could make them as skinny as you'd like, I'm gonna place a little dab of cream cheese on top of your finished sandwich. Take a heirloom cherry tomato, place a little wedge of the tomato on top of the sandwich. We're gonna set these sandwiches aside as we begin to build our tiers with scones, curated tea sandwiches, and finally our sweets. Now the final step is, of course, the tea. We're gonna place our loose tea leaves. When your tea is done steeping, use your strainer to strain out the leaves. Now you're ready for afternoon tea. When I first moved to Chicago, I came to visit with my mom. We were out in the lobby and one of the servers walked up to us and said, are you joining us for tea today? Never in my wildest dreams did I ever think I'd actually be working here learning how to be finesseful making tea sandwiches, to becoming executive sous chef and writing the menu and creating my own sandwiches. It's been very inspiring. <laughs>